everybody, welcome back to Aquaria. Dmark here with Hardcore Casual Gamer. So, last time, uh, we got lots of goodies. Uh, we got our Arnassi Racing Armor. Come here. We got our ass kicked. Um, we got our third cooking slot. And we also got our crab armor. Come here, gimme. Gimme. Gimme! Okay, now that that's done with, um, so yeah, cooking slot, racing armor, crab armor. I suppose the racing armor isn't exactly armor, but it's a costume nonetheless. Stupid water bats. No. So now we're just doing some additional exploring here. Checking out some new map sections. Getting our save points. Doing all the stuff. Interesting little sea dragon there. I'm just gonna explore down here just a little bit. Not too much, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. You guys can just dick off. So, see the, the little things on me? I can, like, barely move. They slow me down. Thankfully, they don't, like, kill my health or anything, but, um... They're dark, and they blend into the background. There he is. Hey, I see you there. Oh, stupid mermogs. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm fine there. I just wanted to get a little bit into that cave. Yeah. And now we'll go up this way. Come here. Thank you. And this just leads up to the other... Yeah, to the kelp forest, is it? Open waters, that's right, okay. Um, we don't need to go up there, we're gonna come back up this way in a couple episodes. But we don't need to yet. I don't like these guys. Nor do I like these ones. I don't like any of the things. Where are you? I'm waiting. Oh, they get sucked out. Okay. Just eat all of the things. Anything up here? No, like, flowers or anything? No, I don't think so. Blaster, don't do it. Stop shooting those guys. Okay. Yeah, there again. Eat. You can see him a bit better in this cave now. Come here. Hey, no. Get off. There we go. Stop shooting those! Alright, we want down this way to begin with. Down in the steamy area. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! Those guys are very difficult to kill, so I'm not even gonna bother. want ink. Give me some actual firepower. Okay, 
This guy's shooting at me again. Where are you? Gimme. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Quick. Perfect. Health! Thank you! area. Of course, it's a creepy area. Oh. So these guys are invulnerable in the front, but can be damaged from the back. So you just kind of got to scoot behind them. And sit here and poke him in the butt. Because <laughs> I know how much dangerous, gnarly looking fish love to be poked in the butt. <laughs> right, we got a spirit crystal. We got this guy. We got more treasure. So, Nyjah and her... Aww. Gonna poke holes in his chest, man. Um, Nyjah and her compulsive collecting hoarding habits, she decided to take home a skull of some ancient king. Uh, how did he end up in such a terrible place, I wondered? I don't know, but let's take his head and stick it in our home. That sounds great. <laughs> Let go. Alright, seven. Hey. Another one up here. Come on, buddy. They give us spicy meat. Pierogi! Alright, what's our pierogi do again? There you are. Uh, energy shot plus one for 45 seconds and defense plus one for 15 seconds. That is quite handy. That's our... Uh, our, our battle food. I think there are several other iterations of pierogies in the game that we will soon find out. Oh, you. Two, thank you. Those guys heal us. That's handy. Stupid sand please. No bad froggies. Oh, and those stupid black things are back. Urgh. No, you don't. So let's go into sudden form here. So we have ended up right where we were before. This is just a different little corridor to get to this area. Main thing has treasure, has a save point, and had that pierogi recipe that we were le that we learned. Hey, what did I tell you guys about trying to stick to me and slowing me down? I said no. Are they on me? No, I think we're clear. Are we good? Yeah, good job. Alright. 
let's head back out this way here. And, yeah. Got another big guy here. Come on! I know, turning around is tough, isn't it? What? Where's my, my foods? Grr. Well, I will take the healing poultices then. Got another one. Come on. There we go. Alright, so this is a small, sneaky little tunnel. Sorry, Lee. Bye. And this just leads us back out into the main area. Okay. Rain death. Okay, so I guess that's just to bypass the Nautiluses if you really don't want to deal with them. Um, yeah, I guess that's what it is. Alright, do some more exploring. Down in the super steamy area. Is somebody like getting it on in here or something? I don't know. So we're back in this area. I'm just gonna explore this uh, this area real quick. Okay, so there's nothing interesting over there whatsoever. So we're back here, heading this way. You know what? <laughs> Let's go ahead and eat some uh, something healthy. So we don't just like magically die for no reason. Ah! Crap. Okay. I've already killed two of them, but crap. I killed three of them. Oh, you! Purple, come here. Come here, buddy. Pink. There we go. Come on. Perfect. Ah, damn it. Oh, gosh. That almost took us out. Okay, one more. Okay, purple. Oh, and we're poisoned. Damn it. I hate the frogs. Thankfully, these guys are helping. Okay, no more poison. Okay. Let's just wait here for a minute. Okay, I'm satisfied for now. Let's take a look. Alright, we want to head down to this little area now. God! That thing shoots fast. Ugh. Quick fishy! Okay, some more leadership rolls. Those can be helpful. I see you guys waiting down there for me. Or 
Alright. There's nothing there. We're heading back and heading down. Those guys can shoot you from a long ways away. So we are now in a new area called the Abyss. Um, this area probably has my favorite music of the game. It's just very slow-paced and methodical, kind of down-tempo here. So the Abyss is the kind of area where it's not a terribly dangerous Many place. Many creatures lay waiting in the darkness of the Abyss. It would take a great deal of courage to proceed without a source of light. <laughs> she speaks to the contrary. Um, yeah, it's not a terribly dangerous place, but the thing about it is, is that it is dark. There is no light whatsoever in this. And so unless you have sun form, there's no way to find your way around. And as you saw, half the uh, walls in this place are lined with uh, spikes. So even though the sun form is good at uh, lighting places up, you still have to go slowly. Okay, so that's one of our enemies. Yeah, you still have to go slowly. because there's still oftentimes stuff in front of you. All right, where are we at? All right. Let's go ahead and check our recipes here. Let's make another sea loaf. There we go. And then cook that up. With that, make another tough loaf. Tough cake. So those are tasty. Alright, we got... We got some healing stuff. We got some defense. We still have some spicy rolls. Okay. I think we're gonna be good. We have... A guy. Uh, we need to heal up before we get started. Let's toss that back. There we go. That's good enough for now. Okay. Giant jellyfish. So that right there, see how it has kind of a pink wall? That little opening there is our spot that we need to hit. And it rotates around so often that we can only hit it from certain angles. And it keeps spawning these jellyfish. Alright, beast form. Let's get some food. Oh. Nope. Toss back a spicy roll. And let's get a tough cake in there. Heal up, get some defense going. And let's fertilize. Die. See, it's, it's very difficult to hit that one little spot, especially with these freaking jellies everywhere. Okay, beast form. Come on. Let's get rid of some of these. Okay. <laughs> I gotta heal up some more. Let's use this. I don't think we're gonna come across blindness, blindness anytime soon. And eating these jellies actually heals us a small amount, too. Come on. 
down, take him out. Alright. Um, yeah, one more heal plus defense. Do another spicy. God. Okay, beast form. Heal me. Needs to eat. Come on, eat. Man. Alright, um... We can use some of these. We're not going to be poisoned anytime soon. We're just sitting on those, not actually using them at all. Nicely done. Alright, so killing the jelly immediately doesn't actually provide you anything, but if we head up this way, we do get something. So that was Jelly Prime. Let's sing a little song. Get another strange bulb, and then we have this. More costumes! Let's play dress up! The Jelly Costume. I won this costume by defeating the King Jellyfish. When worn, it would heal me if my wounds became critical. Sweet, so you already see that it healed me. can't exactly damage myself and watch it heal me, but uh, anyway, we have a new little costume. It looks like I have a Metroid on my head. I don't know if that's a throwback to the Metroidvania style that's uh, kind of present in this game, but yeah. See, I've, I've found that a lot of these bosses that we've been facing... Um, as my memory serves me, have been a lot easier than my last time around. The reason I say that, the the last time I played through this game was, as I mentioned, on, um, we've got a something over here, was on Android. We've got a secret little passage. Leading up into this dark cave. Anyway, yeah, last time I played through this game was on Android, and I, personally, I can't stand touch controls, and that was the primary source of control that the Android version had. Not patch. Path. And it makes things infinitely more difficult. Now, that being said, again, I did a lot of testing with that particular version. Um, and... I... I was able to provide a lot of feedback and tweak the touch controls to where I think they were much, much better. Probably as good as they can get. Although they have the inherent issue of being touch controls in general. Um, so yeah, they're they're still a lot better than they definitely were. I I know or I, I'm pretty sure the controls weren't as good on the iPad. Because the, the changes that I had requested that they implemented were not or were done after the fact that the iPad version was released. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious if anybody out there has ever purchased the iPad version, and uh, I wonder how the controls work on that. Nice. 
Nice. We are just a treasure collecting fiend, aren't we? Alright, what do we get now? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left to get. Not bad. A glowing seed. When planted, this seed sprouted a garden of glowing plants in my cave. Alright, so I think we'll get more of these now. Anything else in here? Trying to think of what else we need to explore. Yeah, I'm going to head down in this direction. So we're gonna go. Um, yeah, we'll probably go back through this path. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're back down here. I kind of got hurt a little bit in that tunnel of ours. Alright, we have a bulb. Nice, couple poultices. That is always handy. Alright, there's also something right up here. Here it is. Secret passage. Secret tunnel! Sweet. We have more treasure. We've got this another secret path here. I just like to notate the entrances and exits of these paths. Because again, if I come back, it's handy to take shortcuts if necessary. Alright, give me just one second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I just wanted to check the uh, the time that we were recording on. Um, yeah, we're, we're at just about a half hour here. I'm going to call the episode right now. Um, we've made a decent amount of progress in explora exploration. Found our new area of the abyss here. Um, next episode, we're going to explore out this direction jump into our map. Yeah, we're gonna explore a bit of this, and head down in this area, because there's something special down there. Um, yeah. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching as always, and uh, yeah, stay tuned until next time. Take it easy. Bye.